I know I'm a little late to the party, but I'm a huge fan of the show Unsolved Mysteries. I really am, and I have been since 2003. I do remember watching it a little bit in 2002, but I didn't become a huge fan until 2003. I told you guys this before, when I made a video about Unsolved Mysteries back in 2019. I told you that I used to watch it every night when they aired it on, I think it was on Lifetime in 2003, in the fall of 2003. And I told you I would watch it after, uh, I think it was after Sarah's Secrets, which was a cooking show on the Food Network. That was part of my little lineup right there. You know, and I would watch Monday Night Raw and Fear Factor and uh, the AMC channel and, you know. But basically, the point I'm trying to make to you guys is that that show scared me so badly. I told you this before. That show scared the crap out of me. And with this new version, I, I'm just not getting that. I mean, you've got a story about a guy that goes to a party um, in a predominantly white neighborhood and he's found dead. I think his name is Alonzo Brooks. Um, with that, I feel like he was killed because maybe he said something to one of the girls there and one of the guys didn't like it. What I don't understand is why they would leave him there. I don't care what he told you. Why would you leave your friend at a party? Secondly, um, then you, you have a case about uh, a, a lady that disappears in 13 minutes. And that was in 2004. Um, what I'm wondering is, before I say what I think happened to her, why did it take Unsolved Mysteries to bring these cases to light? I don't get it. That That's an unsolved mystery in itself. And by the way, I think somebody killed her and put her there. It's as simple as that. Then you've got the story about the guy that mysteriously ends up falling through a roof. You know, I think they call it mystery on the rooftop. I think that he was running from somebody and he either fell through or was thrown through the the rooftop you know what I mean maybe it was the mob or something I don't know uh, and then there's the UFO story I, I'm not even gonna dignify that with a response it's a friggin UFO story I like I I'm sorry not to be rude but I don't take that very seriously I just don't so I'm not even gonna go over that and then with the with the house of terror or the house of horror or whatever you call it where a family is found dead in France when I watched that story, I told my mom, I said, I'll bet you the guy killed them and put them under the house. And that's exactly what he did. Now, I feel like he probably shot each one of them and then just took his time dragging their bodies to the crawl space or whatever it was. Or maybe two people were involved, I don't know. I'm just giving you my theories really quickly and you know in each case before I give you my overall thoughts on the show and then you have the most despicable thing I've ever heard of I'm telling you straight with the case of Lena Chaplin I, I think she's gone I think she died and I think the mom did it because she told what she saw and if it's true I don't understand 
how somebody could kill their own child. How the hell can you kill something you gave birth to? I, I, I just don't get it. How can you kill your own child? I want you guys to understand something. That case really left me speechless. It took me for a loop. I was just sitting there all day thinking she killed her daughter. And I think she killed her husband. They say her husband allegedly was watching TV and the 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 girl the the wife shot him while he was watching TV and eating eggs. That's that's really cold. It really is. Um the the show itself, here's my thing with unsolved mysteries. I like the theme song. The version of the theme song which you hear playing right now. I like that. You know, um I don't think it should have been in true crime documentary form. I think it should have had a host. It should have had a narrator. You took away everything that made it unsolved mysteries. It's basically unsolved mysteries in name only. I I just I didn't like it. And even the 2008 version is better than this. I I don't know. It's just not my thing. I really didn't like it. Am I going to see the next season? Of course. Of course I am. Because overall, I'm a fan. But I really think you should go back to the original format. Add a host. Add a narrator. And try to make it as close to the original as you can. Because the original version, and the 2008 version was okay, but the original version, I don't even like watching it at night, even now, and I'm 34 years old. This new version has, you know, this new version is nowhere close to that at all. It's not scary at all. It's just like watching a documentary on investigation discovery. Literally, that's all it is. But those are my thoughts on the new Unsolved Mysteries. I know I'm late to the party. I just didn't like it. And I just wanted to give you my thoughts on each case that they featured on there. Alright guys, thanks for watching.